Hey guys, it's time for another market update here. One of the first ones really for 2019 uh, on this channel. And what I wanted to do is go through some of the conversations that I've had with investors just over the past couple days. For one, what was really interesting is that talking to people yesterday, uh, January, I guess it was the 7th, people were all of a sudden getting bullish after the market, the S&P, had just rallied about 9 or so percent off the lows. Now, uh, you know, everyone's right their own opinion. Of course, that's what makes the market. But it's interesting that they were scared a couple, a few percent ago, i.e. 9 percent ago, and now all of a sudden they're getting bullish. So it's something a little bit off. But I wanted to give you a little bit of context. So the, the question that I'm being asked, is it really time to buy stocks? Again, I'm going to tell you right now, I think it depends on your time frame. But for the most part, I think we have some revisiting to do at least for right now of the recent lows. And I think 2019 is going to remain fairly choppy, not too dissimilar from what we saw in 2018. So let me, I want to show you guys one chart that I think very few people actually talk about because everyone's so focused on just the S&P 500 in terms of US stocks. But there's actually something underneath the surface that's been deteriorating here for quite a while. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to start off well with the S&P 500. But um, what you'll note here is that the S&P is, is now bouncing off that 200 week moving average, which is more or less coinciding with the long term 2009 uh, support line. However, if you broaden this out a little bit, remember the S&P, I've talked to the camera for this, the S&P is only 500 stocks and they're large cap stocks. If you widen this out, broaden this out to the NYA, which is the New York Stock Exchange Composite, which I think is, um, I wanna say it's like 1,500 or 2,000 stocks, don't quote me on this. What you'll notice is that the New York Stock Exchange Composite actually last year topped out much earlier in the year. In fact, it topped out almost exactly one year ago, right? So that's January 2018, and we made a lower high in September. This very much, this picture very much coincides uh, like with, with the broader global uh, equity indices. So if you were to look at something like German stocks and a lot of European and even a lot of Asian stocks, they, a lot of them topped out in January. They did not top out last year in September. The only thing, pretty much the only thing that topped out last year in September was the S&P 500, which is mostly due to the fact that large cap tech stocks, so your NASDAQ 100 stocks uh, and some consumer discretion names and some healthcare stocks basically rallied. So I think this is a problem. Now, before we continue on this, I want to invite you along to the Wealth Summit, Wealth 365 Summit. It's, the, it's a great online education forum for traders and investors. I'll be speaking there as well. Um, it is uh, from January 21st to the 26th. See here, it says the world's largest online wealth summit. I would urgently uh, ask you to sign up, or at least I would at least I would suggest you sign up. It's a really really good thing. It's free. Um, I'll be presenting there as well. You get a lot of ton a ton of information <coughs> from uh, a lot of different people and speakers about the different stock market strategies and outlooks and so on and so forth. So there's a link uh, down below in the uh, comment section. If you um, are watching this by email, there should be a link also in the email as well. So make sure you join us for that. Now, getting back to the chart real quick, what this basically means, in my opinion, if we go back to the S&P now, is that I think we are most likely here to retest uh, those lows that we saw in December. And uh, basically, the way to look at it is this. I mean, it, this is an overly simplified look at a chart, but I think it really much proves the point. If you look at the past two points when the S&P bounced into or fell into its 200 week moving average, which was down here in 2011 and also here in 2016, we always retested, we gave it a couple of tests. So far, uh, with this drop into the 200 week moving average, we've only had one test. So I really think there's a retest. Another way of looking at this is to look at something called the VIX, which for some of you guys that are privy to options know, this is the implied volatility, measures the implied volatility of the S&P 500 options. And what you'll notice here, if you look at this, and I'll make this a daily chart, you'll notice that the implied volatility or the risk gauge uh, that, option, that investors are giving to stocks went from about, let's call it the high 30s to about the low 20s over the past uh, sort of couple of weeks. This is about a 40% drop and risk premium. So all of a sudden, people are getting very, very bullish or no longer as scared. And this dramatic drop in, in, in risk 
is most of the time being um, being matched ultimately with another with with another sort of recurrence of risk, and so I think we at this point the st stocks are if you want to for a long term uh, buy and hold that's fine. But I think from a more tactical perspective, I think there's lower to go here. Uh, and I think it'll continue to be choppy throughout the year. We'll probably in 2019 see a little bit of everything. I think we will see sharp rallies. I think we will see sharp sell-offs. I think we'll see a lot of choppiness. And I think we'll see this across the universe of, of, um, of stock. But for, for, for what it's worth for right here, right now, the VIX uh, dropping this sharply, this quickly, usually uh, will, will, will lead to stocks giving us another drop. And, and again, I think in the S&P, I would not be surprised if over the ensuing weeks, we see some sort of a mean reversion level back down to about, uh, let's call it the, the mid to low 230s on the SPY. So that's, um, that's what I'm looking at here from, uh, from a, 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 a sort of big picture market outlook for right now and the way I want to trade this. Um, again, I would uh, certainly encourage you to join at the Wealth365 Summit. Again, this is a free uh, event. As you can see, it's uh, multi multiple days long. I'll be presenting there as well. Uh, sign up down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys there. And I'll see you in the next one of these video as well. Have a great, uh, great week. Again, a belated Happy New Year if you haven't watched one of these yet this year. And I'll talk to you guys soon.